Hi, I'm John. Welcome back to Dice Paper Miniatures. Well, it's April, it's Thursday, it must be Horus Heresy Thursday Preview. So here we are again, let's check out this week's preview. Okay, so for this week's preview, we start off with the never-before-seen Plastic Praetor. Alright, so let's check it out. Nice. So in the original preview we saw from Adepticon, that uh, Praetor that we have seen, he was fighting one that looked like this. So that's really cool. I wonder if both kits can make this model. Or if these are two separate kits altogether. I mean, they look quite a bit different. Yeah, those are probably two separate kits altogether. Super cool. Yeah, these look great. Dig it. All right, let's see what else they have to say. So Praetors were the mightiest warriors and battle leaders of the Space Marine Legions. They commanded the war hosts of the Great Crusade and held the power of life and death in their hands. Such inspiring heroism requires a suitably imposing miniature. And this new plastic Praetor perfectly captures the majesty of these legendary commanders. So it looks like probably both kits will have a helmed and unhelmed version. All right, so this Praetor is armed with a mastercrafted Volkite charger to burn through mass infantry and a potent power blade which can alternatively be used as a paragon blade to slice through any enemy warriors. Meanwhile, his artificer armor and force field projecting iron halo keep him safe from incoming fire. His cape offers no such battlefield benefits, but it is both fashionable and practical. Should he ever find himself needing to look cool on a windswept rocky outcrop? You know, they should just put in like parentheses tactical rock. <laughs> All right. This kit comes with a choice of heads and looks great in any color. An important quality given that this fellow is not bound to any one legion. Interesting. Man, the design details on this model are super solid. A lot of detail, but there's definitely plenty of spots throughout the miniature where your eyes are kind of given a rest. So it's just, I think, well balanced of design and, and functionality of design. The new Praetor will look great leading your Mark VI Legionary Tactical Squad into battle. we still got plenty more awesome new miniatures to show you for Warhammer, the Horus Heresy, every Thursday. Alright, so that's it for this one. Very, very cool design as I was saying. I dig they still worked in that crest, <laughs> even though he's helmetless. So it's kind of helm, but kind of not. It's, it's very cool. And I've, I've mentioned this in the previous videos for the Horus Heresy previews that we've had. You can kind of see where some of these aesthetics then lend themselves to when they start being warped by chaos, where those chaos elements are kind of building off of. Um, we see that way more in these new designs, I think. But then conversely, we lose some of that uh, regal quality to them as we move forward into like the 41st millennium. So, you know, from 30K to 40K, definitely felt more regal so to speak, in that 30K environment. Yeah, these are fantastic. But what do you all think? Do you think this week's preview hit the spot? Love to hear your comments below. And if you haven't yet, and you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. It's greatly appreciated and really helps with the growth of the channel. Well, as always, take care, be safe, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.